Hi everyone, Sarah Trapani here in Whole Sky Yoga in Stone Ridge, New York, and I'm really grateful to practice together today for a 10-minute yoga practice for strength. We could all use a little strength in our lives and our muscles and our ligaments and our joints and body. So thanks for joining me. On the back, we're going to lay down in constructive rest pose. So we're going to come down into constructive rest where you step the feet about mat, mat with distance apart. You let your knees knock into touch. And then you can rest your arms alongside the body. And let your shoulders relax. And you can inhale through the nose. Exhale, let it out your mouth. And you settle into your practice for the next little while. Noticing your breath. And it's nice to set an intention for your practice. Today we're working with a uh, focus on strength. Oftentimes we affiliate or associate a yoga practice with being flexible, but too much flexibility can be harmful on the joints. So it's also balancing to consider how yoga asana and yoga poses can strengthen your body and also your spirit. So you're going to heel toe the feet a little closer together. Have the feet about hip width. Arms are alongside the body. You're going to turn your palms to face down. Push down through the feet. Pick up the pelvis toward a bridge pose. And we're engaging the gluteal muscles. So as you press through the feet, you feel the inhale expand the belly. And then exhale, you're going to lower down upper back, middle back, lower back. And we'll do two more of those, pressing through the feet. Inhale, use the gluteals, the gluteal muscles to pick up the pelvis. Inhale, breathe the chest toward the chin. And then exhale, slowly lower down. One more time, push through the feet. Inhale, lift up, lengthen the tail between the knees. Breathe the chest toward the chin. And exhale, slowly lower down. And when your lower back rests, hug the knees in towards your body. Give a little bit of squeeze. Come into full happy baby, elbows and insides of knees, hands are on the outside edges of the feet. You're going to keep the feet flexed, interlace your hands back behind your head. Open your elbows on the inhale, and then exhale, point your elbows up, curl the tail toward your face, take a little crunch. We're going to do four more of those, working with a little strength in the core. Inhale, open, exhale, elbows up. Good, inhale, open, feet are flexed, exhale. Inhale, open, and exhale. Hold, hold, point the elbows up. And we're going to open the elbows. Let's take one more. Lift up, one more crunch. Elbows up, feet are flexed. And then go ahead and release, bring your knees in. Take your right arm up alongside your ear, roll to your right-hand side, and use your left hand to slowly press on up. Finding a comfortable cross leg Sukhasana. Take your hands to heart center. Just honoring the effort you're putting in today to be present for yourself for a little while. Let's make our way onto all fours when you're ready, coming into a tabletop position. Palms are under shoulders, knees are under hips. You're going to tuck the toes under. Extend your right leg straight back. Feel the right gluteal engage. Hover your left hand off the ground. Feel your core pick up so the ribs are knitting in and if it's available extend your left arm forward thumb up holding here as you extend the fingertips and heel out from the body you also hug the head of the arm bone and the head of the leg bone up to the body into the body one more inhale lift heel and hand exhale release hand and knee and we'll do the other side extend your left leg straight back hover that right hand extend your right arm forward thumb up if that's available hold Gathering the ribs, extending through the finger, inhale, inhale, and exhale, release hand and knee. Now, with toes tucked, send the hips toward the heels, walk the hands forward. Coming into this active extended child, you're going to feel the length from pinkies to hips. And then as you inhale, come to modified plank. Now you're going to hug the elbows in toward the ribs, lower down to a little mini chaturanga. You're going to strengthen up the triceps, and then exhale, push back, active child. Let's do that two more times. Inhale, flow forward, hug the elbows in, come down, mini chaturanga, squeeze the elbows in. Exhale, push back to active child. One more time, inhale. And lower down. 
Exhale, push back, lift your knees, come up to downward facing dog, pedal your feet, lifting one heel at a time. Step your feet a little closer together. Lift your right heel high, straight back. Inhale, exhale, knee to nose, step your right foot in between the hands. Spin your left heel down, come on up to warrior two. Turn your palms up, look toward your left fingers. Inhale, straighten the front leg, reach up. Exhale, you're going to bend the front knee, make fists, bring the fists toward your biceps, squeeze. So you feel the biceps engage. Now, when you inhale, straighten the front leg, open, palms up. And then exhale, bend and squeeze the fists toward your shoulders. Neck is soft, inhale, open. Exhale, squeeze, keep pushing through the outer left foot. Inhale, open. Exhale, squeeze. Look to your right elbow. Release your right palm forward. And then we're going to reverse warrior left hand to left thigh. Right arms reaching up and over. Inhale, right side body. Exhale, it's a slow cartwheel. Release your hands to frame the front foot. Lift your left heel over the toes. Step back, plank pose. So we're going to hold and plank. Lifting the belly. Lifting the ribs. Lifting the back of the head. Hover your right foot off the ground. Lower. Hover your left foot off the ground. Lower. You can either modify to knees or hug your elbows in. Come all the way down to Chaturanga. Come on to your belly. Take your feet flat. Stretch your arms back for a locust pose. One of the most wonderful ways to strengthen all the muscles along the back. Also the gluteals and hamstrings. So you root the pelvis down and inhale. Float up. Locust pose. Neutral chin. Breathing deep into the belly. Inhale. Exhale, lower down, cheek to one side. And we're going to move in and out of that a couple times. So inhale, root through the pelvis. Everything else floats up. Exhale, melt down, cheek to opposite side. Inhale, lifting up. And exhale, cheek to opposite side. Inhale, lifting up last time. You can interlace the fingers. Track the knuckles toward the back wall. Spread the baby toes and then release. Take your palms under your elbows. You can either go through child's pose back to down dog. You can press strong right up to plank pose. Find downward dog. And let the exhale shake the head out. Outer heels move toward the earth. You can step your feet a little closer together. Lift your left heel high. Just straight up and back. Inhale. Exhale, knee to nose. Step your left foot in between the hands. Right heel comes down. Come on up to warrior two. Turn your palms up. Look over your right hand. Inhale, straighten the front leg, reach up. You can look up at the hands. And then exhale, you bend your elbows, take fists toward the top of the shoulders so you feel the biceps squeeze. And the elbows extend out from your body. Now when you inhale, you're going to straighten the front leg, open the palms. Exhale, curl into fists, curl the fists toward your shoulders, squeeze the biceps. Inhale, strengthen. Pressing through the feet. Exhale, curl in. Inhale, float up, palms up. Exhale, curl in. Inhale, last time. And extra. Exhale, curl in. Now look over your left elbow. Extend your left arm forward, palm up. Reverse warrior, right hand to right thigh. Left arm reaches up and over, opening up through the left side waist. Inhale. Exhale, it's a slow cartwheel. Release your hands to frame your front foot. Lift your right heel over the toes. And then step back into plank and hold. Roll into the outside edge of your right foot. Stack your left foot on top of the right. Take your hand to your belly. Use your hand to scoop from your right hip toward the belly and lift up. And then lower to plank. Come over to the other side, Vashtasana. You stack your feet. You lift. And you use your right hand to scoop your left side up toward the belly. Inhale and exhale back to plank. Bring your knees down and come all the way onto your belly. Bring your forehead to the floor. Give your neck a break. Reach your arms straight back. Root through the pelvis. Inhale, lift up strong. Locust pose. Spread the fingers. Spread the toes. Neutral shin. Inhale deep to the belly. Exhale, release. Palms under elbows. Push up into tabletop. Walk your knees in between the thumbs. Cross your ankles, sit behind your heels, then you're going to uncross, flex your feet. Let's balance in our Ardha Navasana for a moment. You lift your heels. Your hands can be behind your knees, or you can turn your palms up and balance for a moment. 
Shoulders are soft. Inhale, lift heels and hands. Exhale, lower heels, plant your feet, hug your heels in, wrap your arms around, give a hug. Let your eyes drop toward your knees. Curling into a little seed. Breathing deeply to fill the belly and expand the back ribs. And exhale, extend the legs out. So the feet are flexed, you're gonna to start to lean back a little bit. Extend your arms forward, press the palms together. As you press your palms together, feel the biceps engage. Knit the ribs in, slowly, slowly, slowly. You're gonna make your way down. As you come down, reach the arms overhead, keeping prayer. And float the arms overhead, feel the stretch from the outer feet all the way up through the baby fingers. And then stretch of the lower back. And you inhale, expand the belly, exhale, bring the hands down through heart center. And step one foot on the floor and then the other. Lay your arms alongside the body and you're going to heel toe your feet apart. And slowly windshield wiper. And loosen up a little bit in the hips. You can always feel free to pause with your knees over the right, with your head looking left for a moment. And then pause when your knees swing over the left, with your head looking right. And then coming back to center, knees together, constructive rest pose. You can let the arms do whatever they want. And you take a brief final Shavasana meditation. Inside, your mind, your heart, your body, may you be strong and healthy and totally capable with all the tools within that you already need available. And you can stay for a little while resting as long as you need to. Eventually, when you're ready, you can roll to the left, pause with the head and the crook of the arm. Nice moment to let go of anything you don't need into the floor. And then when you're ready, use your right hand to slowly press that up. And you make your way back into a comfortable cross-legged sukhasana. An easy seat. Let's take the right hand on the chest, left hand below the belly. Feel the connection of the hands to the body. and Thank yourself for this practice. Namaste. Thank you for practicing with me today. I hope you enjoyed this practice. And if you enjoyed, please do feel free to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And I look forward to practicing again soon. Have a great day.